What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you how to apply texture the right way to your merch designs using my brand new brush pack for Photoshop. These brushes were designed specifically for merch design and are completely free. Just follow the link in the description, put zero in the price box and you're good to go. If you find this tutorial useful, like the video and subscribe to the channel for more merch design content. So in front of you I've got a finished design that I want to apply some texture to and I'm going to demonstrate this with my free brushes however this technique will work with any brushes you have. What's different about my brushes though is that because I'm a merch designer these are specific for merch design so they're very large brushes which means you'll be able to apply them to a whole design really easily. But if you already have brushes you like using and you're just a bit lost on how to use them then this technique will help you a lot. So what we need to do first is put all of our files into one group. To do that, we just need to click on the first layer, scroll down and click on the last layer while holding shift. This will select all the layers we want to put into the group. Make sure you don't include the background layer in your selection and then select the create group button. The reason we want all the files in one group is so we can apply texture to the group and then that texture will cut through the entire design. Next, we need to apply a layer mask and this is how we're going to apply the brushes to the design. Now we can head on over to our brushes like I said at the start, I'm going to be using my Distressor pack. So Distressor Volume 1 contains five high quality brushes all ready to go for merch design. So let's just grab the grunge brush. By the way, make sure your foreground color is set to black. And we're just going to give the design one quick stamp. So if you're after a very distressed look to your design, then this would be fine. However, for me, this is way too much. So what we need to do now is head on over to our color palette and change the color from black to white. Now we can grab the same brush again and do a few more clicks. And as you can see, we are now removing some of that texture and making it way less harsh. And you could do this as many times as you like, depending on the effect you wanna create. I like my texture to be quite subtle. And you can obviously make the brush smaller and remove certain portions, depending on any particular area that may be a bit too harsh for you. So let's now have a go with one of the other brushes. And the same thing again, we're just going to stamp the design and see how it comes out. So if we really wanted this design to look really vintage when it's printed on t-shirt, this would be great. However, for me, I'm just going to swap the colors to white and take away some of that texture just to make it a little bit less harsh again. And you can use the same brush like you see me doing now to do this or a bonus tip, you could grab one of the other brushes and you can get a slightly different effect. So you see, you can be pretty versatile with just five brushes. And just to show you guys quickly why we apply these textures with a layer mask in a group. If I turn off the background layer, which is essentially the t-shirt, you can see that the textures actually cut through the entire design. So when this is printed, this will all be t-shirt underneath. And it's gonna give that legit vintage feel that the design's actually old and worn out and started to kind of peel off the shirt, if you know what I mean. And that is it guys. That is the correct way to apply texture using brushes to your merch designs. As always guys, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it and I really hope you enjoy these brushes. If you found the tutorial helpful, please remember to subscribe and like the video and I will catch you next time.